All right, hello everybody. I know you're probably watching from home. I hope you're not feeling too sick, um, but it's good to have you here. Today, we're gonna to talk about counting ordered, um, unordered selections now. Um, but before we do, let's start with a joke. What do computers like to eat? Microchips. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Okay. So, <laughs> that was a good one. All right, today we're talking about counting unordered selections. Okay, so in other words, the order doesn't matter anymore, only the grouping. So for example, if we're picking things like a committee, um, we don't care about who comes first, second, third. We're just talking about, we're just picking a group of three from whatever. So the first kind of question that I've got up here is how many ways can you choose two people from a group of five? All right, now I want you to pause it and I want you to see if you can figure it out using the previous knowledge that we have. Pause it, give it a go. Okay, now the way that we would choose two people from a group of five kind of looks a little bit like this. Well, there's five factorial ways that that can happen. But then we're only really picking two factorial. There's two factorial over three factorial. Now I'll explain how we get there because it's kind of like do you remember there's the yeah we'll get to that because i'm kind of accounting for um the different ways that we can pick those two people and then yeah i guess the other three doesn't really matter anymore but let me explain that we're kind of going to use this thing called ncr okay now c stands for combination or sometimes people call it choose. Okay, I'll explain what that means. N, again, is very similar. It means the, the total number, um, the total number to choose from. And then this R is the number that you choose. Okay, and the notation looks like this, NCR, and you've got C on your calculator or you've just got NR and note that it's not a fraction, it's just NR and in brackets. So either is fine. Now the way that this would work is it's N factorial over R factorial and minus R factorial, okay? So this is a formula that we've kind of seen before. It looks similar. Um, the only difference now is we kind of add that extra r factorial instead of just n factorial over n minus r we also multiply it by this extra r factorial okay so that's exactly what we did up here so that there would have been our n and then this here would have been our r and then that there would have been our n minus r All right hopefully you can see that that, that we've got if n is 5, r is 2, then n minus r, 5 minus 2 gives you 3. That's what we did up there. Now let's show how we would actually use this in some questions. Okay, first question here. Uh, let's work with this one. It says, show that 7c3 and 7, 3, 4, or 7 choose 3 and 7 choose 4, show that they are equal. And so let's write it out. We could put it in our calculator. It's in your calculator right next to the uh, the permutations button, the P button. But the way that we'd show it is we'd put it into this form. So we've got seven choose three is the same thing as writing seven factorial. So I'll write this seven choose three equals seven factorial over three factorial over seven minus three factorial, right? And that let's go seven choose four equals to seven factorial over four factorial and then seven minus four factorial. And if you note here, let's just take a look. They should equal each other because it would just equal to seven factorial over three factorial times four factorial. And they are actually the same thing. Okay, you can put it in your calculator too. It'll give you the same result. But the way that we'd show it is we'd write it in its um, factorial form, I guess. And that there would give you that. All right, now let's actually tackle a question here. 
um, that actually uses it. So it says here that two people are to be chosen from a group of seven. Okay, how many ways can this happen? Well, I've got seven people in a group. And I should probably get my calculator, shouldn't I? Uh, where is it? Is it up here? Up here. There's seven total people, and I'm choosing two out of those seven. So seven C two, you go seven, and you go shift, and then the division button will give you the C two. And this should give you an answer of 21. So there's 21 ways that we can pick the two people from a group of seven. All right, now how many of these would include City and exclude Kiara? Sorry, not sorry. So the way that we would do these is if we include City, that means we've taken one spot already. That one spot is golden. So that means we've only got one spot left to fill. So that means technically we're only choosing one more person. But we're excluding Kiara, so that means we've chosen City, we've excluded Kiara, that means there's actually only five people left. So how many ways can we choose one from five? If you put 5C1, it should be fairly straightforward that it will be five. In this case, it's just five. All right, now, if there are two girls and five boys, just like our class, how many ways can one boy and one girl be selected? So let's pick one boy first. So how many boys are there? There's five boys and we're gonna choose one. We're gonna multiply it by the number of ways that we can pick one girl from two. Okay, so there's five boys, I'm choosing one. There's two girls, I'm choosing one. And then there, five choose one times two choose one will be the same thing as five times two. In this case, it'll be 10 different ways. Okay, now, in how many ways will the girls take majority? Well, if you think about it, there's only really one way that happens. And for the girls to take majority, they both need to be chosen. So in other words, there's only two, choose one. Um, and that's the only way that that could happen. So two, choose one. There's only really two ways that happens. All right. So that's it. I think that's it. All right, cool. How many ways will the girls take majority? Well, there's only really one way, isn't there? Oh, it's not two choose one, it's two choose two. That's why it's gonna be one, okay? Because there's two girls and I will need to choose both of them. You put that in your calculator, two choose two, there's only one way that I can choose two from two. That'll make more sense. All right, thanks guys. I'll see you guys in another video. Catch you later. Bye-bye.